Hi everyone, this is your host Khan Baba. Today is November 17th, Sunday afternoon. Welcome everybody. Wherever you're tuned in from and, we love you and we're glad you're here. Today we will discuss about Saudi Riyal. So let's start today information. When the first official estimate of 2023 real gross domestic product is published by the Saudi Statistical Authority at the end of January, it is likely to show that the economy contracted by around 0.5% relative to 2022. This is due to real oil gross domestic product, which is likely to have fallen by around 7% due to the large cuts in crude oil production in May and July 2023. The non-oil economy is likely to have grown by a healthy 4%, driven by private consumption as households continued to take advantage of new spending opportunities in sectors such as entertainment and tourism. Together with ongoing labor market reforms, this non-oil growth led to significant new job creation, and the Saudi unemployment rate fell to 8.6% in the third quarter of 2023 from 9.9% 9 .9 a year earlier. Nevertheless, two concerns are apparent in the recent data. First, the non-oil economy lost steam as the year progressed, with year-on-year -year growth in the third quarter of 2023 at its weakest since the coronavirus pandemic. Second, investment spending, which is key to boosting productivity and supporting diversification, slowed sharply during 2023. As forecasters make their projections for the Saudi economy in 2024, they will have to assess whether the slowdown in non-oil growth and investment spending is temporary or longer-lasting. They will also have to weigh the potential impact of several global, regional, and domestic uncertainties that could significantly affect the economy. The biggest relate to the global oil market, the ongoing conflict in Middle East, U.S. monetary policy, and the impact of domestic reforms. Saudi Arabia has undertaken significant reforms to strengthen legal and regulatory frameworks, develop new sectors of the economy, deepen financial markets, encourage foreign investment, and increase the participation of Saudi women in the labor market. Analysis by the IMF indicates that these types of reforms should boost growth in the non-oil sector. It seems reasonable to assume there will be some positive effect from these reforms in 2024, but it is difficult to predict the size. New reforms, such as the regional headquarters program, are also being implemented in 2024, although it is uncertain what their impact will be. A reasonable central scenario is for real GDP to grow by 1.5% in 2024. If oil production increases to 9.5 million barrels per day by the end of the year, this would be consistent with a decline in real oil GDP of around 2%. Have a great day, take care and goodbye.